All right, greetings, it's 6.47. Nice sunny day at the port. All right, so today, today is a one video vlog. Ah, my hair. So, let me walk this way and why. So today is a special day. Today, a year ago, is the day I come here to work. Excellent, excellent. So that's today's special day, right? So to kick off with today's, or rather, yeah, to kick off the new year for me, all right, today is considered a new year for me because the decision that I make to come here plays a very, very important part and yeah plays a very important part in my life and that's why today is a special day okay let's move on so number one rebudgeting structuring and the first to be structured is food budget and previously i've had lots and lots and lots of topics about how i save money how to budget for food so this year this time i'm gonna change a little bit a bit more aggressive and it will be $10 a day right maximum why $10 because microwave oven food is two to three dollars depends on the discount that I get that leaves with seven dollars right let's say I buy food at lunch at three so that's seven dollars Groceries for seven dollars is actually quite an amount. So yesterday I bought groceries is twenty two dollars. That's chicken enough for two to three days. On top of that, the flies here love chicken meat, and I need to switch meat now. If I cook chicken, flies keep coming in. I have to track them down, kill them, chase them away. That's not fun. All right. Uh, so chicken yesterday that's $12 because that's for three days bacon cheap bacon that's about five dollars twelve five and I bought sausages right not pros uh, not those packets uh, still process uh, anyway sausage from the deli or uh, off the counter you know it's not processed through a factory then again, meat is meat, all right? So basically, the grocery store make their own sausages and sell healthy, unhealthy, I do not know because it's the same. So sausages cost around 3 to $4 as well. Yeah, so the chicken is expensive and attract flies. So that's one thing I need to cut it off, change to beef. Beef is better. Beef is fun. All right, so... Seven no twenty two dollars for yesterday's grocery that I can definitely last for three days or more depends how I did yesterday was a bit overkill because I bought too much chicken and then that's the cheapest chicken that I can find uh, how much per kg I think it's about twenty dollars per kg I have no idea right I need to go back and check anyway so that's the reason on ten dollars a meal right. Last time or last year when I first came here, I think I sat at $20, which is decent because most meal outside there is about $8 to $16, right? Like today, today I cheat a bit or rather I didn't start off well. I bought lunch. So today's lunch is a special lunch or rather my normal lunch costs $16. That's fish and chip price as well. Yep. So $16 is pricey right I'm gonna put it this way $16 is pricey less than 10 is okay 10 to 12 is on the normal no less than 10 is cheap yes less than 10 is cheap because McD sells $10 for a set of meal so anything more than 10 goes a bit on the pricey side anything above 16 is expensive right so like fish and chips is a occasional meal but I like it. Sometimes I'll go there and eat. But fish and chips, I know I can eat for two meals. So it's eight, eight. More on that. But more importantly, 
uh, weekdays or rather the basic meal is $10 a day. So that makes life easier to count because 30 days means $300. Everything gets multiplied by 10, right? Every day. And for this is to test out my new budget strategy. And am I disciplined enough to maintain $10 a day? So that's two things. Two things for this year to tackle is can my aggressive food budgeting work? Or rather, cheap home cooked meal where lots of Chinese parents like to tell me, hey, you should cook. Yeah, cook at home. So that's number one. Number two, aggressive savings because I tested a bit here and there. It's fun, it's nice. Sometimes I don't have the discipline and that's the problem. Do not have discipline to carry on this budgeting plan. And that's it, right? That's two main purpose. Okay, so starting this year as well, um, I need to change a little bit of stuff and restructuring my budget. Unfortunately, clothes are getting destroyed, getting holes, hardware, right? It's the fun part, right? Hardware is getting destroyed, especially my mouse and my laptop keyboard. It's sad because that tells me I need to buy new stuff. As I like to buy new stuff and toys, but I tried to buy last year, which I achieved a little bit last year, which I only bought this mic, an external mic for my laptop, two winter jackets, and that's it. Those are most my most, oh no, uh, winter jacket. I have a hel two helmets, one longboard, and one skate ice skating shoes so that's it that is my biggest hard uh, physical purchase as of last the year I came here anyway last year right um, what else what else okay I think that's it for today because it's past seven minutes I like to keep it short um, until then I will see you tomorrow. Yes. Yeah, I'll talk about purchase tomorrow and the importance of this my my value to dollar dollar to value. Ah, anyway, it's part of the the reason why I put $10 a day is because the dollar value buying stuff, understanding and so on. So all this purchase, I think I missed out a few as well. So that will be tomorrow the strategy on how I tackle daily purchases and future purchases that I want, not need, right? Need, I will cover that after the want, right? So I think I covered that for the past two videos as well. Anyway, until then, I will see you tomorrow.